11 o'clock. Today's news! Today's news! I'm Allison Keys. Wicked winter weather is roaring across the nation and making things miserable for hundreds of thousands without power. There's freezing rain, howling winds, swirling snow, and dangerously cold temperatures. Zach Taylor is with the National Weather Service. The western U.S. is looking at a pretty significant winter storm that's going to move into Oregon over the next day or so, bringing a pretty widespread heavy snowfall to much of the state. And that snow will extend further east into the Intermountain West and as well as the Wasatch mountains of Utah, including Salt Lake City, and then the Colorado Rockies as well. The cold is making this last weekend of campaign cha campaigning in Iowa challenging ahead of Monday's Republican caucuses. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is dealing with it. I'm a Florida boy, born and bred, and yet here I am in uh, negative temperatures. Uh, I am not going to be canceled. If people are willing to come out and, and hear from me, I'm going to show up all the way until the end of this caucus. Now to the Middle East, where the U.S. is carrying out more airstrikes on Iran-backed Houthis who have been attacking commercial shipping in the Red Sea. The BBC's Sebastian Usher. The group has long drawn vital support from Iran. Now, according to President Biden, the U.S. is also sending a direct message to Tehran. There's a flu outbreak in the U.S., and the CDC says 40 children have died from it so far. CBS's Omar Villafranca. This is the first time I have known the flu to be horrible. Mary Stein and her three-year-old son, James, have spent the last few nights in a Dallas hospital. His cough got so strong and so hard. We've been here since Wednesday night, diagnosed with flu A, and then that turned into right side pneumonia. Nationally, the number of flu cases has decreased, but in southern states, flu activity is still high, including in Dallas County, where almost 20% of tests are positive. More fallout after that Alaska Airlines door plug blew out. The Federal Aviation Administration says it will require inspections of 40 Boeing 737 MAX 9 airplanes and will review data from those checks before allowing the planes to resume flights. United and Alaska Airlines say they have canceled Boeing 737 MAX 9 flights through Tuesday. Alaska has been canceling about 20% of daily flights since the grounding of its 65 MAX 9 planes. Jennifer Kuyper, CBS News. The Justice Department is seeking the death penalty for the white supremacist who killed 10 black people at the top supermarket in Buffalo in 2022. The shooter was 18 at the time and has already pleaded guilty to separate state charges of murder and domestic terrorism. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 51 degrees in Alameda, California.